Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has been confirmed and I don't think the mode's gonna have weapon camos. And before I get into why I think that, we have to go over a few things for the mode that have been confirmed. So from everything I've seen, this mode is basically gonna be DMZ and Outbreak combined. Now, I'm gonna say this right off the bat, manage your expectations. I don't think this is gonna be like the most groundbreaking zombies thing we've ever seen before, but I don't think it's gonna be terrible. So this mode's basically gonna be like DMZ and Outbreak had a baby, but there is no PvP, it is PvE only, and it's gonna take place on the war zone map for modern warfare 3 now we don't know what this war zone map's gonna look like but from what i've heard from modern Warzone and charlie intel it seems like there's gonna be a lot of buildings in it which could be an interesting way to play zombies a lot of close quarters in those buildings then you have the big open world aspect outside of them but i guess we'll see when we actually get the mode and the thing about this mode unlike outbreak where you have different regions you travel through sort of like rounds this time you only stay on the map for 60 minutes i don't know if it's exactly 60 minutes but they said around an hour is the only time you have to be on the map until like the storm comes in kind of like dmz and then players are forced to expel but despite this being pve it doesn't mean you're only fighting against zombies there's going to be some other human ai factions that you're going to go against now they didn't say exactly who these human ai are going to be but i think they're going to be similar to omega group from cold war like some sort of enemy faction trying to use the zombies to get world domination or whatever the hell they're doing with those and for this mode there's going to be 24 players on the map but it's been rumored that you can have a six person party which is something that i've been asking for for a while in outbreak it seems like if you have a big map you want to have a bigger team to go and explore it so i think this is actually probably a good addition to the mode and since this is zombies it's going to have all the normal stuff like pack a punch wall buys the mystery box but it will have some war zone elements like buy stations and ammo depots but since it is similar to dmz there is going to be things and items that you can pick up and exfil with you to bring into your next mission uh, i've seen it reported that there's like juggernaut cans that you can grab death perception cans so i'm assuming like all perks you can just find and pick up and bring with you and when i was listening to charlie intel and modern war zones podcast they mentioned something about ethereum crystals being taken out so i don't know if you can use these ethereum crystals outside of the mode to upgrade things in a skill tree like you could in cold war but i'd really like to see something like that come back i don't know if it's just going to be like you know exfil with like a golden skull from dmz and you just get like money that converts into xp but i hope it goes deeper than that and there's more stuff to get in this zombies mode you can also exfil with like different weapons and things like that and they mentioned like crates i don't know if there's going to be something you have to purchase or something you find or something you get from like completing quests on the map but they mentioned about like a golden ray gun case so potentially you can spawn into the game with a ray gun and whatever perks you have just from scavenging from previous games and this is supposed to take place like in between modern for 2019 and modern for 2 that came out this year it's like uh you know right in between both of those games and it's supposed to continue the treyarch zombie storyline and i don't know how that's gonna work but now that we've laid out everything confirmed for the mode it doesn't really feel like it's gonna have camos now i'd be happy to be proven wrong but dmz didn't have a camo system and a zombies game that's all like big open world i don't see them adding in camos to it because it'd be kind of difficult to complete them if they have the same like unlock challenges similar to like cold war or vanguard where you have to get like a few thousand kills unless the amount of zombies on the map is insane it seems like camos is kind of like far-fetched for this mode and with the 60 minute timer on games i don't know if it'd be possible to get all your camos on a single gun on one game if you had it fully leveled up like in cold war what we'd like to do is get the weapon leveled up then hop into a, like a game of round base and then just get all the camos in one swoop and that normally takes like maybe an hour 15 hour 30 depending on the weapon could be even longer than that so if you are grinding camos on this you'd have to hop into multiple games with that gun and if it has anything like the dmz weapon system where if you like die with your insured weapon you have to wait a certain amount of time till you get your insured weapon back that could really put a damper on people trying to get into the grind of this game but it could be another layer of difficulty adding on to the grind that some people might like but i just think it'd be a little inaccessible for some people trying to get into the mode now it's not like we haven't seen a difficult zombies camo system before like bo3 and bo4 you had to get all your weapons from like the mystery box or wall buys and get your camos that way so it's not too crazy to say if you don't have an insured weapon slot to put the weapon you want to get camos on in that you'd be able to find it throughout the map in a mystery box or a wall by there. But I am having a hard time wrapping my head around of what the camo challenges could be for this mode. Because if this is anything like DMZ, there could be some contracts sprinkled in throughout the map with little missions that you could do. And maybe some of the challenges could be like complete X amount of missions with this weapon, do this certain type of mission with this weapon. Maybe it could be location based. Maybe you have to go and get kills in like a certain area of the map. But one thing I do think will happen is getting a certain amount of elite kills with it because in the 
one preview image we got, it did show a mimic and it's a little bit of a different mimic redesign. Uh, you can see the model is not the same as the one in Cold War, but it is cool that these enemies are crossing on over to this game. And I'm curious to see what other elites show up and if we get anything new since it's kind of like a prequel to Cold War almost. But a few challenges that we can cross off if they do add in camos is going to be like eliminations, headshot eliminations, pack a punch eliminations, and like the previously mentioned elite kills. I could see them adding in something like the jackrabbit camo back where it's like get 20 kills or you know whatever number they want without getting hit. And there was no mention of field upgrades in this so I don't know if they're going to add in field upgrades from like the multiplayer to it or if they'll have things like ring of fire, aether shroud, tesla storm, things like that. Which honestly I'd be kind of disappointed if they didn't have the zombies type field upgrades because I feel like that's what kind of makes the cold war era of zombies special. And I feel like they've been leaning towards like a field upgrade type thing since BO4 when they had like all the special weapons there so it kind of seems silly if they leave that out. And like we mentioned before how there isn't really rounds to this mode where it's just like a time limit and then you have to exfil towards the end. Again I'm going to mention the Charlie Intel in Modern Warzone podcast but in there they mentioned that throughout the game it'll get more difficult. They said that the human AI faction that you'll fight will only be towards like the beginning of the game and as the game progresses you'll see less and less humans and more and more zombies and I think more and more elites. And they said something about like towards the very end of the game you'll be like moved to a different location. I don't know if it's like through teleporting through an aether portal or if it's just like you have to get there from the, the smoke coming in or the storm, but you'll only be there with your squad and you'll have to like fight your way through something. I don't know. They were kind of vague about this part. Uh, apparently, they're only given like a video presentation from some people at Treyarch while they're at Sledgehammer Studios. So there's like very little information about this, but it seems like at least there'll be a little bit of a difficulty factor and it'll slowly ramp up as you progress through the mode. And in the little blog post, they did say that there will be secrets to find but I don't think these Easter eggs are going to be extremely complex because again, you only have a 60 minute time limit to do something while the storm is closing in during that time. I don't know if it's going to be progressively closing in during the 60 minutes or at 60 minutes, it'll start closing in, but I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy, especially if you have to go to like completely different parts of the map or work together with other squads to get it done. What would be a cool aspect though, is if they bring back prox chat, I think that was probably one of the better parts of Warzone and DMZ because you can just talk to some other people in the game, see what they found, you know, see if there's any cool areas, any like bosses that you have to team up with people to take down in the area. I really do like the camaraderie aspect of DMZ of just finding other players, you know, talking to them, asking about like, you know, what, what shit they got going on in the game and what they're doing. And if this mode does do well, I really hope that they add in a different version of it where there is PVP in it. Because on this big map with like human AI, zombies, and other players, this could be like a DayZ version of COD zombies. And I've always been somewhat interested in those kinds of games but it always seemed like the zombies were a secondary threat and it's just always against the people but if they get a good mixture of it going this could be a really fun way to play the mode but we literally know nothing about this mode we've seen one single screenshot of it so it could be one of the greatest modes of all time it could be ass yeah, we just have to wait and see. Personally, I've been trying to manage my expectations. I don't want to get super hyped up for a zombies game like I did for Vanguard and then just get slapped in the face with shit. But I don't think we're going to get a zombies experience as low as Vanguard. I think it'll be slightly better, maybe even marginally better, but I don't think it's going to be the best thing we've ever seen. So again, just want to reiterate zombies fans, manage your expectations. This is just going to be a little side mode in the game where they're kind of focusing on fanfare for like multiplayer because they're bringing back all the Modern Warfare 2 maps. And it seems like they're doing fanfare for the campaign, adding in like Makarov and some story beats from the OG Modern Warfare 2 and 3. So I think zombie is going to be the lowest priority thing going into this game. So when you're getting it, just have that in mind. But that's all the information we have right now. My speculation to go along with it. Again, I hope the mode's good, but prepare for the worst. Uh, COD community, zombies community, manage your expectations. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.